In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can set up a GitHub account for your uh, course. And let's go over the critical points before we actually go to the website for you to apply for the uh, GitHub account, especially educational account. First of all, we should get a general GitHub account for you. However, you should notice that all the repositories for the uh, general GitHub account by default, they're all public, which means anybody can access to you whatever you store on your GitHub account. And for your coursework, like a lab assignment or project work, it is considered as plagiarism or academic dishonesty or cheating. If you store any of your lab assignment or project work in a public repository. So this is, this is why a general GitHub account is not sufficient for you to actually do your coursework, okay? So there'll be no excuse, even without the intent to cheat, if you get caught and you will be accused of academic dishonesty if we if we find that you store any of your lab assignment or project work in a public repository of your GitHub account. Okay, so how can we resolve that? Again, it is absolutely critical that we set up the private repositories for your GitHub account. A general GitHub account will charge you for any private repository. So that's why we have to apply for an educational GitHub account. If you have your York uh, student status, then you can definitely apply for educational GitHub account for free, okay? So this is why we want you to do it. And once you get the educational GitHub account for free, it can allow you to have unlimited private repositories, which means, which means you can store all your coursework, lab assignments or project work in the private repository. And uh, that's the only place you can store, okay? Again, if we find that you store any of your work for the course in the uh, public repository of your GitHub account, it is considered as cheating and you will be uh, accused, okay? So now let's go to this uh, URL link over here, https colon double forward slash education.github.com slash pack. Let's go to this URL here and then let's start applying. Okay, let's just copy this address over here and let me go to my Firefox uh, browser or whatever web browser you're using. Let's paste this link over here. So that will be, let's go there. And then it will be the GitHub education site. Okay, just go to get your pack over here. At the moment, I don't have, let's say I don't have any GitHub account just yet. Okay, and if you already have your general GitHub account, you must log in using your existing uh, login information and then get the educational uh, setup, which I will show you a little bit later in the tutorial video. Okay, let's say you don't have one just yet. Let's just say create an account over here. And then the username, you can choose whatever name you like. Let me say, I will say Jackie Chen Wei Wang. Okay, you will check to see if the username you want is available or not. And for the email address, I would suggest you can either choose your uh, yorku.ca uh, or, myyork, uh, or myyorku.ca account, or you can choose your ECS uh, account if you have one, okay? But I would say by default, you have to choose a uh, yorku or ECS account because that will be much easier for you to apply for the educational account later, okay? And some password over here, okay. And then you can say done. Okay, let's say create an account. So this is only the general account, okay? We are not done yet. You must still apply for the educational account. Okay, this is done. And then let's say unlimited public repositories for free just for now, okay? And then you can choose whatever option you like and do not choose this option, okay? Unlimited private repository for $7 a month, for example. You don't need to pay for repositories that are private. You just have to apply for educational account in just a moment. Okay, let's say continue here. Okay, over here, it's going to uh, bring you to the stage where are you a student? Of course, let's say you are, right? Uh, and then we can say, yes, I'm a student, and then you can apply for educational setup for free. Okay, let's just say I am a student over here. Okay, and then this is a GitHub account I just applied for and then uh, verify academic status. If you don't see your email uh, that you register for uh, the GitHub account that we just did, and you can just say add and verify it, okay, over here. And then you can see that the email I used to apply for my GitHub general account is not the primary email, but we, I need to verify that. So verification email is sent. 
So what you should do is you should really check your email box. So in this case, I'll just go to my Gmail box because my Yoku email was forwarded to it. So let me just go to my Gmail box and then I should see a notification email from GitHub. And they would say, please verify your email address. And then I'll just say, verify my email address over here. And then they would say, yes, uh, it's been verified. Okay, let me just go to the tab. And then let's see if, if that will be uh, refreshed. Okay, let's just uh, refresh the uh, browser again. Let's see if we will see the email. Oh, okay, good. If you refresh your browser, your page, then you will see that email. Since we have verified that, it should appear in the drop down menu over here. Okay, just choose that email there and school name. You can just say York University. Okay, graduation year, uh, that's really up to your individual case. For, for, uh, for illustration, I will simply say, what about 2020? Okay, how do you plan to use GitHub? I will, for example, you can type something here. Okay, I will store lab assignment project work in the private repository. Okay, again, it is really important that you complete this step. Otherwise, you can never ever store the, uh, the project assignment or lab work in the public repository of GitHub. Okay, submit a request. Okay, so they, they would say you should really receive an email from them within five days. So it's good that you complete this process here. Let's just wait for the email from GitHub.